Hello and welcome to another episode of Real Talk. Roll the level Real Talk. I shouldn't get it all in there. Uh, I am Sarah and this is my friend Matt. Hey, how's it going? It is going. Hmm. <laughs> Other than technical issues, yeah, we are going. Yeah, there's been a lot of technical issues today, absolutely, <laughs> but here we are. Yes, yeah, so today mm. I thought mm. we should talk about difficulty. Difficulty, that is such an appropriate topic. I had a couple instances of difficulty recently and I'm just like, you know what? I have to get it out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, I'm pulling out my soapbox. I'm ready to rant. Let's do this thing. So, right. uh, yeah, this is like a, a little bit of a personal topic because, mm. you know, some people don't find the same kind of games difficult. But, That's true. Um, so I want to talk about, like, um, if difficulty is good or bad, if it stops you from finding a game kind of thing. Oh, okay. So, like, where the line of difficulty yeah. needs to be drawn. Like, okay. should easy mode be added to appease people mm. kind of thing? Because oh, of, wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, some people are like on a level of you can't play as good as me, so why should you have an easy mode? I beat this game in the hard way. Kind oh, of that's thing. Right. Okay. So I think you'll right. have a little bit of a yeah. There's a scale there. Yeah. Okay. So so give me some examples of some of your harder games. <sighs> like a game like the Souls games. Oh yeah, yeah, those are hard. Like I love Bloodborne. I bought all the Souls games, mm -hmm. and uh, there I know it's like hey, memorize where the people are, learn yeah. your moves, get good. Yeah. But. I am not very good at getting good. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and in all fairness, those games take like roguelite to like a whole new level. Yeah. Which is like the, you know, the, the fight die repeat. Like it's. Yes. And that's um, why I, I realized when thinking about this topic. Yeah. I think it's why I love Monster Hunter so much. Okay. Because like Souls games are about the bosses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know you can call somebody in. Yeah. But man, in Monster Hunter, it's all about the bosses, except yeah. I can just go and get a party of four. Yeah. And, and we have different classes. And thing. man, some yeah. people just kick butt. Yeah. And I'll just be sitting back like, they keep her the materials. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to soak this up. Absolutely. But for I, sure. I think that's really, like, as much as I like the Souls games, I mm -hmm. don't think I'd buy another one mm -hmm. right away. Okay. Just because it's too hard for me. All right. So do you find, do you find then with the you know, just difficulty, difficulty then deters you from, yeah, from buying like games? Yeah. Like, I get okay. to a certain boss, and yeah. I can't beat it, and then yeah. I'm done. I'm done with those games. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I just... I. Like, I feel like I cannot progress. I lost my souls, so they're gone somewhere. Yeah, and yeah, that's fair. It's just yeah. like, mm -hmm. that's it. It's like mm. starting over and I just, I don't have time. Yeah, that's fair. Time, patience, want to. No, I totally get that. There's, you know, it's interesting. There's been a couple of games like that for me that were like, it just got to the point where I had to walk away from it and I never finished playing it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, man, there was a game back on the GameCube and I'm trying to think of the name of the game was. Um, can't remember, but the final boss actually had this weird mechanic where like it would poison you and then all of your controls were reversed oh <laughs> and that whole that whole section of the I, fight oh, okay. was about dodging things oh backwards. so it, yeah but it would flash out on the screen but be backwards what you had to do it was the most confusing thing and i ended up actually like i get to the point where i get so frustrated with that game that i just i i put it down i ended up selling it because i was done Aww. i was so frustrated so, you know, so yeah, I guess that question of like, is there a point where difficulty is too much? Like it just gets to the point where it's ridiculous. And yeah, and I, I think the Souls games are, you know, some people absolutely love those games. Yeah, um, I can see why. Yeah, I mean, there is that attraction of like, man, this is super hard. And I'm going to memorize yep. it. And I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, and like do it and... I played so much Demon Souls. I can see in my head where every <laughs> single enemy is in that first level. And I yeah, can tell yeah, you like every fair. optimal strategy. Yeah. But then after that, I just got... But, you know, with that too, though, it comes like, like, I, you know, I play, I've played some games so much that, again, I'm going to memorize, like, mm -hmm. all of Doom 1. I can play mm -hmm. that almost literally with my eyes closed. Right. You know, and so, like, but that, that game's engaging. It's fun. And I personally don't, I personally don't find dying over and over and over and over again to the same point in a game fun. Yeah. Like, it, it irritates me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I get to the point where I'm like, no, this is just ridiculous. And maybe I'm old, maybe I'm slow, yeah. but it's still... <laughs> That's what I, yeah. yeah. Like, I feel as I get older, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have less time. I want easy mode. Mm -hmm. so, like, sometimes I'm just like, yeah. no. I just want to experience I, the story. I, I want a story. I mean, yeah, absolutely. But you bring up dying over and over, and that's kind yeah. of what I was going to get into next, is roguelikes. Yeah, roguelikes. Like... like um, Rogue Legacy. Okay, Rogue Legacy, play. Crypt of the Necrodancer. Oh, my word, yes. I love game. those games, but yeah. I... I love them and I hate them because mm -hmm. I like platformers, but I'm not good at them. That's fair. I understand And that. Uh, I was thinking of like Mario. Mm -hmm. Like Mar I like Mario games, but yeah. he, he never progresses through the game. He kind of like, like he has the same moves beginning to end. I was going to say, yeah, there's not really too much of an RPG yeah. element to that game for sure. And yeah. I'm not getting any better, but like the rogue games, at least if I like keep dying down a hole or I keep dying the same enemy, it's like, hey, yeah. I'm getting a little better each time. So those games kind of 
take difficulty to a different level. Like you can make yeah. your own difficulty. Mm. Um, but then you get games like the game that would I would stop from difficulty is Darkest Dungeon. Okay, yes. Yeah, I never played through that. Okay. I couldn't it handle is, the combat. The combat is fine. It's yeah. the status ailments that kill you, yeah. and then your party's gone forever, and you literally have to restart. Oh, that's but everything. I couldn't do like, that. Oh, no, no. At least in Rogue Legacy, if I die, I'm stronger. But this mm. is like, no, total wipe, you're done. Mm. So once I died, I was like, I'm yeah. not going back. <laughs> which, which brings up like the whole concept of permadeath. Yes, like exactly. Games. Like even even games like Diablo and stuff, which I mean, I love Diablo. Play it all the time. Any ARPGs for the most part, I'll mm -hmm. play through a million times <laughs> over. But but one thing I could never get into was like the hardcore mode, like the the right. permadeath death mode on yes, any of though, these that games. That trophy eludes me. In the right? Yeah. Right. Well, that's and that's fair. I mean, I don't. I personally don't don't see the attraction. Now there, are, I have friends that play hardcore only. Right. And I'm going, guys. Like I don't. I don't know how you do that. Like how you can get that invested in a character yeah. and then all of a sudden it's just gone forever. Yeah. Oh man. I, um, I, that's another thing where I'm old. I don't have time to restart a whole party again. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think, I think for myself when it comes to like, you know, the permadeath when it comes to like the ultra hard mode, mm -hmm. I appreciate the people that want to put the time into that and the energy into that. I am not one of those people. Yeah. Um, and you know, and, and, in all honesty, if a game is built around that concept, I probably won't buy it yeah. um like i don't own any of the dark souls games i picked up bloodborne because it was like for five bucks on the psn yep. and i love i love the concept i love the world the I love the, so oh cool. it was really cool and i love that like victorian monster yep. hunter kind of style yeah that the van helsing weird science kind of thing uh, so i picked it up for that but i yeah. mean i literally touch the game once every like three or four months because i just it's too yeah it like those games stress me out yeah, yeah, yeah. like i get to a level my palms are sweaty <laughs> yeah. and i just have to shut it down because i'm just like i'm, I'm so died done. Save enemy so many times i'm so done <sighs> yeah so yeah no absolutely it's absolutely hurt. so so i mean you know that's kind of our opinion on it uh when it comes to those like difficulty level um i i think for me if if i'm not having fun it's not worth the difficulty yeah like um, i i had one more example yeah that for sure. stopped me from buying something recently and it makes mm. me sad Mm. The difficulty of Cuphead. Oh yeah, Cuphead was crazy. That game looks so good. It yeah. And I won't buy it yeah. because there's no easy mode. <laughs> and then that hurts. Like yeah. yeah. So this is where difficulty gets to a point where I don't want to buy it anymore. So yeah. should the developers put in an easy mode? Oof. Because there a is tough technically one. an easy mode. Yeah. You're just not allowed to beat the level. It's like a trial run. Oh, is that kind of like uh, was it the old? I think on the Xbox 360. Maybe it was the Xbox. If you play games in certain levels of difficulty, you didn't get achievements for yep, them. Yep, that's that's a lot um, of games back yeah, then. Yeah, back then I think that's that was a thing forever ago, mm -hmm. and it was irritating. Yeah, because it's like, well, no, I, I mean, I get, I, you know, I get some of the challenging things, which is fine, but it's like, no, I, I did play through this game. I did complete these missions. Yep. But yeah, I mean, should there be an easy mode in every game? I don't know. That'd probably be a turn off to the people that really yeah, like that some, hardcore. But what's the bigger audience? Yeah. That's true. And then, then you get into the debate of, you know, are you trying to appease the audience? Or are you trying to create, you, and... yeah, are you trying to create a piece of art that you, yep. you know, that you like? That's why and... I think Cuphead's never going to add an easy mode, which I, <laughs> I understand. Yeah. But it'll probably keep me mm. from buying the game. That's fair. And that hurts because that game looks... It, it is. So yeah. Nice. I played a little bit of it. It's pretty awesome. It's insanely hard. Yeah. No, um, see... That's, yeah that's... no i was yeah i i kind of trialed it and i was like no i think i'm good thanks have a nice day <laughs> but darn you're pretty yeah but it is it is a gorgeous game the art is just wonderful that like 1940s aesthetic is just yeah. oh so good but uh but that's kind of our opinions on what do you guys think you know should games have you know di difficult games like like uh like bloodborne like the souls like the surge is another great example yeah, of that surge man. is a really good game i almost picked it up again on the psn sale because it, it's just really good <laughs> Um, but, but at the same time, it's like, when does that difficulty stop you from picking up a game? Mm -hmm. Um, or do you, you know, thrive on it? Or do you thrive on it? <laughs> Are you one of those people that just love that type of, of experience of just oh, dying over and over and yeah. memorizing and, and I'm sure there's a satisfying element there somewhere. Yeah. I just can't figure it out. But, uh, <laughs> but we'd love to hear from you. So leave, uh, leave, a uh, leave us a message in the comments and, uh, we'll talk to you soon. And, uh, thanks so much for watching this episode of Real Talk.